Okay, hello and hello. I'm gonna try to make this video here that I've been trying to make. Well, I haven't been trying to make it. I didn't know how to make it. But, as you can see, I have Quest Augmented Reality Mode, basically. I mean, is that not augmented reality? I finally figured out how to record pass-through camera. Um, specifically, the pass-through camera on the lower left. Um, these other cameras are not on. But thank you to Ty from Tyco Tech. He was the one I finally asked, you know, how do I do it? You, you might be the man with the knowledge. He had a, a video here. You can kind of see it through the pass-through cameras. Um, there's a side-loaded app where you can get more settings on the Quest. And he had a, a setting for, oh boy, for a blue light filter. That's why you use your wrist straps. So, uh, yeah, there's a blue light filter setting. And look at that, I activated my normal Rift LEDs. You can see an infrared in this thing. So I kind of just wanted to show it and talk about it for a minute or two. I've got um, my old camera over here, which can see an infrared and visible light spectrum. I think the Quest is only seeing infrared. There's no visible light or else it would be in color. I could be wrong. You see my guardian system behind me. I am wired to the computer. Now, um, I suppose a lot of people that have the Vive have already kind of experienced something like this. In um, Tron mode, they call it. But this is the first time I'm seeing this level of augmented reality, or the capabilities for augmented reality. I mean, these controllers are labeled, so you can imagine if they unlock the pass-through for developers. They start working on stuff like that. Now, while I'm in here, I did want to show to the uh, Sony Handycam with the visible light and infrared light. The front of the Oculus Rift, you can see both screens. You can see the frames. Yeah, and when you slide the inner pupillary distance slider, you can see the screen's moving in there. So that's kind of cool. So, uh, another thing, I'll save it for another video, but I, I think when you see me move back into the play space, back through the Guardian here. Oh, I've got to confirm the Guardian. Okay, so let me confirm. When I'm moving in and out of the Guardian, there's a very smooth transition. See that smooth transition? So, if there were a setting some developer can make, like a slider or a toggle, to set the strength of the pass-through at about 50% so I can see both, and I could move my head, I could be anywhere in the room, but I could just set that pass-through strength, you would have kind of an augmented workstation. Now it's not one-to-one, -one, like I said in my other video. It doesn't have the perspective, um, like the Rift S has a perspective correction to make it a one-to-one -one mapping. This doesn't have that, but you can kind of still see how it would be useful. And I've noticed, especially when you're watching uh, 3D VR 180 videos in YouTube VR, it is super cool because that's in 3D as well. And if you just get the pass-through strength to 50%, everything, it looks like the people are on your desktop or in the same environment. So I can imagine, I'll, and like I said, I'll save this for another video, but um, if you had actors on a green screen and then developed something to where the green screen was the pass-through camera and the actors were maybe 100% toggled in, you could have a mixed reality headset. That might be better than Windows, or um, I haven't used those other headsets, so I really don't know what I'm talking about. But I just wanted to show this, you know, finally got the pass-through camera ability to cast to the computer. Um, so I'll, I'll link to Tyco Tech channel where uh, he shows how to do this. It's just a batch file that he wrote. That's really cool. Just get his batch file plug the thing in to the computer. You can also do it wirelessly, which will be really cool. Uh, I can figure that out, set up the router, and go walk around the house. 
So you can see how the quest does actually remember the different rooms. I've got a guardian system set up in the living room. Uh, this is my bedroom guardian. And when I walk between the two rooms, it does transition to the other uh, guardian. So, yeah, that's about it for now. I don't normally do a video with uh, two cameras on it. I just had extra room on the side of the uh, screen because I didn't want to stretch the uh, pass-through camera all the way out. But, uh, yeah. If you liked it, give me a like, you know, do the YouTube culture stuff. And uh, I'll leave you, I've got the wrong control. I'll leave you with a blinking and flashing of the Oculus Rift. Goodbye now. We'll, uh, we'll do some more of these videos. I'll do a demonstration on that, that video idea where you can toggle the pass through camera. I do not want a stationary boundary. Yeah, get the pass-through camera just about halfway in and halfway out. You have a use case for some Quest AR mode. <laughs> I wanted to point to my OBS screen with the VR control. I can't do that, so uh, I changed my YouTube channel name too. So Virtual Reality Rave Minneapolis signing out. Here's the uh, Oculus Go that doesn't have any infrared lights on it. Bye now. Peace.